Hi, this is Bob Brown. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is December 7th, 2016. This is, of course, Pearl Harbor Day of the United States. Please keep in your prayers all the people who fought and died for the United States in the Second World War and all subsequent wars. Keep uh, the U.S. military and all its forces, the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Marines, the U.S. Army, the U.S. Navy, and the U.S. Coast Guard, Guard and all law enforcement in your prayers on today. Two themes for this quick video, localization, globalization. The key for your new, your, let me make a suggestion for your New Year's resolution. Create a nano business. There's nano businesses, micro business, and then there's a small business, and then there's medium business. You, the individual, myself included, make a res, New Year's resolution to start a nano business. What's a nano business? It's a small business. Maybe you're really good at arts and crafts. I'll just pick that one. Maybe you're good at woodworking. Smart, start a small business and sell your, your product on eBay. Maybe you're, you crochet you know, tea cozies. Maybe you make uh, wooden uh, bread boxes. Maybe you make, you know, maybe you make walking sticks, whatever, you, whatever your passion is. Uh, maybe you make small electronic devices to detect you know, weather patterns, whatever, whatever it is. Make a resolution to start that nano business and then sell your product on eBay or wherever you want to sell it. Make a website and create it a website and sell it off your website as well. I recommend you, if you do eBay, also have your website to sell it on because that way you always have your backup selling if you need it. Uh, that will be a different video on that. But start off with eBay, just something easy or Amazon, something easy. And then what will happen then is if, say you sell something, you make $5. That $5 will now come into your local economy. Then you, in turn, will spend that $5 at the local brewery, the local winery. Piedmont, North Carolina just started, a, they're getting ready to open a meadery. A meadery? A meadery is where they make mead. Mead is a, a wine made out of honey. Spend that $5. Make it a point now to take that $5 that you made and spend it into the local economy. And now you've actually drawn back from the global economy or the, the national economy or the state economy. You've drawn $5 back into the local economy through your nano business and now you're spending it in the local business. This is key to the, the movement towards localization and individualization of business. Uber showed a lot of people the way. Uber saw that people have these cars, other people don't have cars, they put the two and two together and suddenly you have a local, you know, a person can make money from Uber. I'm not advocating Uber, I'm saying I'm advocating you create a nano business. And that in turn, you may create five or six, ten nano businesses. You may, these are basically incubator businesses. You set them up and you see which one grows. And maybe through, you know, hard work and and advice, you, your business will transcend from a nano to a micro business. The trend, and you may have two or three that transcend from nano to micro. If they get to micro, then they, one, of, one of them might get to a small business that you actually have to hire someone to help you run. That's the key right there. That's the key to your success, your, your happiness, and finding the talents within you. Everybody should start their own nano business. Make it a point. I'm doing it and I'm going to talk about that in subsequent videos, make a point to create at least one nano business for the year 2017. You're going to create one nano business. It could be, I'm going to grow organic vegetables and I'm going to sell them one time at the farmer's market. Or I'm going to grow a vegetable garden and I'm going to sell it to my local neighbors. I said, hey, I'm going to be growing tomatoes this year. Do you guys want some? Sure. And then they can pay you for that. Again, it's keeping money in the local economy. Maybe you're going to start a pet sitting business. Maybe you're going to create a dog walking business. Maybe you're going to do, you know, uh, paper, you know, you're going to create uh, paper art. Or maybe you're going to be an artist or you're going to be a poet. It doesn't matter what you are. And, and don't get, don't get un upset if it's rejected. That, that's part of it. Th these, are, these are experiments. These are experiments in nano businesses that you want to take. The key is if you can make something, sell on eBay, they pay you $5, you take that $5, like I said, spend it at the local brewery, the local pet store, the local bookstore, the local uh, you know, grocery store, then you've now brought money back into the local economy. If everyone did that, we would get what I call piranha local uh, economics. 
because you're taking a bite out of all the global and all the money that's going out. You're, you're, everybody's taking the bite out of that outflow and bringing it back locally. It's like a lot, it's like a lot of piranha. They're just, you're, you're always nibbling at that and you're bringing the money back in. And it, it, it's amazing how much that can transform your local community. This, many communities are blighted. I mean, again, you may have a cleanup service, like, hey, I'll go around and I'll clean up things. How much would you like me to, you know, blow leaves or clean up this yard? Go to the local government, say, hey, I can clean up this, this, this empty lot. Um, there's all kinds of things that can be done. There's, there's work to be done everywhere. Work is everywhere around us and needs done, and someone wants it done. So start a nano business, make that New Year's resolution now, Think about what you're going to do, and I wish you all the best. And remember, keep studying.